Hey everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And I would love to wear this new Zara jacket for the or cardigan for the rest of the show, but it, it's too much moir on the camera, so I'm gonna have to take it off. But in the meantime, welcome to Expose. I still get to wear my glasses because they don't do that. Welcome to Expose, but they do create lens flare. And, um, so it's it's good. It's just gonna be like a Chris Nolan video. You're going for J.J. Abrams, but it's fine. You you were close. <laughs> Once again, we want to thank you all for coming back. I'm going to step over here. I just saw The World's End. Pretty amazing to the end of the Cornetto trilogy, but we'll talk about that later. Kristen? News. News time. News time. Alright guys, let's get into the news. And first up, we have very special news near and dear to the Theory 11 family. Our very own Zach Mueller is performing at the Clubhouse. It's the show called Camp. Previous performers have included Blake Voigt, but Brett Loudermilk, Mustache Milk, y'all know and love him. We have footage, can we roll that beautiful bean footage? <laughs> David Copperfield did an interview with TechCrunch.com recently on the art of magic and eternal curiosity, so you guys should check that out. It's 35 minutes of just amazing copper field goodness. ZDNet posted an article on Hacker Decks recently from our very good friends at Firehost who mentioned us, Theory 11, in, in their article, saying that their deck came from a fun idea they had with us. Isn't that sweet? Kevin Rose gave us a shout out on The Random Show recently, so thank you to Kevin for that. If you don't know who Kevin is, he's the founder of Revision 3 and Dig, and he's also a venture partner on Google Ventures. So you guys should Google him. Shimshi was on the Chris Jenner Show recently, so you should check that out, and also look at Dan White's parents on the Chris Jenner Show a few weeks ago. Really good. Recently on The Late Show with David Letterman, Olivia Wilde talked a bit about David Blaine, mentioning that he is going to entertain her guests at her upcoming wedding to Jason Sudeikis. Isn't that awesome? There's buzz going around that the History Channel has greenlit the four-hour miniseries Houdini, starring Adrian Brody as Houdini and Kristen Connolly as Bess. It's rumored to air later this year, so we'll keep you updated in the weeks ahead as details unfold about that one. Hey guys, fresh on the wire this week, we have seven new effects. Let's get into them. Potential Keeler, yes, that's the actual name of the effect, is a three-phase copper-silver key routine, which looks like this. On an incredibly visual way, have both keys magically switch places. Cliptism is two routines using paper clips by Arnel Renegado. Blanked is a pretty cool blank deck routine. One little flick, and now all the cards should disappear. As you can see, all the cards are blank, except for one card. UTS is a simple, free, and very unique way to get into a triangle, and that's also it's a cardistry move. I don't know how you get into a triangle in Magic. I don't even I don't even know what that would mean or entail. Hourglass is another free, simple, and very cool flourish. Swifty Bicycle makes the bicycle logo on the back of the box melt through the box, which is pretty interesting. And lastly, Semestral is a very neat download that's pretty darn long and contains a lot of information and new ideas regarding the classic Triumph effect. Once again, all of these can be seen on the wire. Go check them out. In our media section this week, we have one of the most awesome prank videos that involves magic that I have seen since the Invisible Driver prank the mecca of all magic pranks. This one is by Kaylin Morelli in which he digs a hole in the beach and then he does a trick to someone on the beach and has them count out playing cards and while they're not looking and they're counting the cards he turns away, runs into the hole and they cover the hole with a towel and cardboard like a little escape hatch. It's pretty darn awesome. <laughs>
Speaking of Kaylin, him and I just made a new collaboration video on my own channel with our good friend Chase Duncan, who is the most awesome flourisher that you've most likely never heard of. But you will be hearing about him very soon because he is so many levels of awesome. Roll the clip. Alright, I'm sly lingual, eyes on the prize, I'm fly, make eyes twinkle, I bendo, put it on your grandmother's wrinkles, chip on my shoulder like I'm dieting with Pringles, I brush it off quick like Ace to the OV, life is what it be shit. Can't say too much about this, but this will not be the last time you see Chase Duncan on Theory 11. This hurts. Last week we got so many awesome comments, and yes, I forgot to announce the winner from the week previous. I asked you guys to comment on the episode letting us know what was your favorite part of the trailer of Monument by Dimitri Arleri, our new flourishing project. And the winner is Wasal Kalhudri, who said, His fingers, which I like in the trailer, exclamation point, comma, like how fast can they get. So... Congratulations. All right, guys, for this week, comment below and let us know what is the coolest magic prank you can think of? A prank that somehow incorporates a magic method or is presented as a magic trick? Let your imagination run wild. Comment below and, hey, we might even try it. Who knows? The best idea gets an artisan shirt next week. Andre Jick, take it away. Hey, what's up guys? So I just got back from our whirlwind adventure with JB. So JB flew in from South Carolina about a week ago and we got to hang out with uh, Tony Shea, who is the founder and owner of Zappos.com and Kevin Rose from Google Ventures. And those two are extremely passionate about magic and they're friends. It was great to find out that they actually like magic. They do a little bit of magic. Um, so that was very great and we're very excited. Um, I don't even know why we're excited, we just are. Um, thereafter, we got to go to LA and film The Code with Andy Nyman. Now, The Code is basically a powerful system, a very subtle system of being able to read people's minds. It's, it's basically pure sorcery. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're a magician or a cardist, uh, this is something for everybody. This is a tool and a system that you're going to be able to carry with you everywhere you go, and it requires no memorization and very little skill to use. Um, so I'm just finishing up the trailer, putting uh, the finishing touches on that, and here is a quick sneak peek. It's Queen of Clubs. You're thinking of the Queen of Clubs. Well, I told you it was going to be a quick sneak peek, but you're going to see the rest of it in a few weeks. Um, that's going to be very, very exciting. Very cool project. I can't say enough about it. Now, with that said, after that, JB got to go to Ohio, Cincinnati, where he took a bunch of awesome Instagram pictures and got to meet with the core uh, team of Bicycle and discuss strategy, so that was great. Um, and then we left. Uh, I also got to see people at Magic Live, got to go, not for very long, I wish I could have stayed longer. Um, so I saw some of my friends, and if I got to see you, great. Um, if not, maybe next time. I was only there for, again, about half an hour. But I did get to um, bring seven of our decks from Monarchs, Artisans, Rebels, uh, Silver Steampunks, Animal Kingdoms, um, and uh, basically scatter them across the, uh, the convention hall. This was before the hall, so you don't need to have registered or um, you know, been part of the convention. You could have been somebody random, but as long as you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, uh, you would have known about this. And basically, I scattered seven of our decks uh, throughout random areas where it was you know, easily accessible. I took a medium close-up shot of the deck, so you can kind of tell perhaps where it was if you had passed by that area. And I tweeted it, Instagrammed it, Facebooked it, and uh, posted it. And uh, went downstairs, got some lunch, uh, took about 20 minutes, and I was wondering to myself, now I wonder how long it's going to take before all those decks are gone. I mean, it couldn't be... You know, it should be a while since, you know, there's, you know, they're hanging out with friends, everybody's going to lectures, you know, seeing performances, going to shows, um, they're just busy, so they're probably not going to get this, you know, be on their phone and see, uh, you know, anything, but literally came back 20 minutes upstairs and they were all completely gone. So if you're one of the lucky few to grab that, um, congratulations. Um, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, once again we want to thank you all so much for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, the entire Theory 11 team, we hope you have an awesome weekend. Go see the world's end. It's honestly, uh, if you're over 17 in America, 
What are the Canadian laws if it's an R-rated movie? They don't show R-rated movies. They're too frightening to children. They only uh, That's ride offensive. moose. That's offensive to all people who live in Toronto. And it's Toronto, not it's Toronto. Tr it's Toronto? It's not Toronto. If, okay. you're, if you're from there, guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. She doesn't, obviously. I don't know. Comment below. I've never below. been there. You I know. would love to go. We're on the same page, guys. Take me to Canada. We'll see you next Friday.